The Edgelords are mad at me. Yes, the Edgelords, the amazing atheists' fans, are upset because of a tweet from 2014 with a bad joke saying, let's lower the age of consent to conception. I want to see someone fuck a fetus. That could be the latest abortion technique. I didn't dig this up. I said I'm not a fan of digging up old tweets to get a gotcha moment. This was trending. People were talking about this. This was on the feed, and I used my goddamn right to freedom of speech to give my opinion on this. Now, I'm not acting holier than now. I'm not completely innocent. I've had my bad share of very cringe edgelord takes and jokes in the past. In fact, one of them was on a Fine Brothers reaction video that I did where kids or teenagers were blowing into NES carts, and there was a girl that I said, oh, I bet you she knows how to blow. Was it bad form? Sure. But it was not saying that someone should fuck a fetus. I feel this was a really bad joke. Gave my thought. Wasn't personally attacking every anything. I just said it was a disgusting display of a human being to be joking about abortions and fetuses. And the amazing atheist fans, my God, you would have thought I kicked their dog. Because looking in the comments of the video that I made about it, they just went loose. Who cares? Seriously, who cares? Says John. Well, guess what, sir? You did. You commented the video to care. And and what does it matter who cares or not? See, I never get people who comment like a who cares really seriously. If you clicked on a video, obviously you do one way or another, whether you don't care. Matter of fact, not caring is caring. It's an, It's a display of some kind of reaction to somebody's content. Okay, so thank you for the comment. I got you right there. Continuing on, you can see this Jim Lambert fellow right here. I'm not a fan of digging up old tweets as a gotcha moment. A guy doing exactly that. Wrong, Jim Lambert. I did not dig up this tweet. But imagine defending somebody that makes jokes about fucking fetuses. Imagine that. Like, how low of a person do you got to be? But no, this this was legitimately trending because J.K. Rowling talked about Amazing Atheists, and this was pulled up by Twitter. And again, I'm not trying to be a moral beacon here. I've said my fair share of stupid shit, done stupid shit in the past. But I have every right to say that that joke about fucking fetuses, that he since deleted, by the way, he has since deleted. So I have never deleted anything that I have fucking said or done. Because I believe in mistakes. I believe in making mistakes. And anything that I've done, I've owned up to. So he deleted this. If he if he knew it wasn't if he knew it wasn't wrong, he would have kept it up. But he had a guilty conscience. He got outed. So imagine defending somebody like that. Now, continuing on. Let's look at the next thing we have from Key. Key Caro, that first tweet's hilarious and an obvious joke. All right, I can see the type of humor that some of you guys have. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was a joke, but then I'm going to spend the rest of the time acting like it's not. You might as well call Seth MacFarlane or the South Park guys pedophiles for some of their jokes. It was clearly a joke. Ain't no benefit of the doubt, BS. Nobody said it wasn't a joke. I clearly even said in my description, if you look underneath right here, an old tweet from Amazing Atheist in 2014 has resurfaced online and is absolutely disgusting. Sure, there's edgy humor and all, but this one is super unacceptable. All right. It's almost like these Amazing Atheist fans don't know what an opinion is. That that I could see something's a joke still, but say that I think it's inappropriate, that it was in bad taste, that it wasn't good at all. Nobody said it wasn't a joke. Now, there's this other person right here, and you could tell just by looking at the usernames of some of these people that that community is a whole bunch of fucking anonymous edgelords that hide behind anonymity on the internet. And it's hilarious to see them flail and cope with the fact that somebody said their lord and savior was fucking cringe. Because look at this guy, Lord Flanus the Flayed Anus. Yeah, I'm going to take anything this guy says, uh, you know, seriously. TJ has twice the charisma and humor in that single nine-year-old joke than you do in your entire YouTube channel. Oh, my gosh. I've never heard that, guys. It's always funny 
that when they got nothing, they always go to how bad a YouTube channel is or how low views are or, or how dead a channel is. Yet, yet they managed to find my channel to click it and, and engage and, and leave a comment. They took the bait. I monetized the hater, right? I monetized the hater. So who's truly winning in that? And you can see there's a few other people that say stuff like it's outrageous shock humor. That's his whole thing. Well, yeah, I could still say it's it's bad. I'm not a fan of digging up old tweets or gotcha moments. And then goes on to dig up old tweet. I did not dig it up, David Bailey. The abortion tweet he made was pretty funny. It made me laugh harder than you actually were bothered by it. Again, you get people like this, famous criminals who are like, like imagine liking humor about fucking fetuses as abortion like i don't i i don't get it maybe maybe that's where i draw the line as far as like all my other humor goes but it's cringe i, I never like real hard edgelords like what are you gonna do wear your fucking trench coat mafia jacket to school and sit in the back of the classroom and fucking draw those weird little s symbols on your binder and shit like were you the cool guy in, in school were you the edgelord uh, continuing on, I've been guilty of spouting off in a rage things I regret later. I'm sorry, but we all do it. We're only human. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Purring Bluzz Muffin says, It's funny to be reminded of a long gone era when TJ was still relevant and people even bothered to read his tweets. Makes me feel old. Hilarious nine years later and the AA is still living rent free in your triggered mind. I never followed uh, Amazing Atheist ever. In fact, me reading this tweet was my first impression of him. And my God, what a first impression, right? Imagine <laughs> imagine eight years later having stuff shown up like that. Again, I'm not perfect, but the whole point of the video was to give an opinion on that joke that was trending. Clearly a bait tweet that worked on you. Sure. Sure. It wasn't it's not even the worst dark humor joke given the joke is based on pure ridiculousness. I would say it's kind of funny. That's why TJ Kirk's been trending. Dude is basically the Fred Phelps of atheist. Sure dude, I'm sure he actually thinks people should be fucking fetuses. It definitely isn't just a harmless although extremely dark joke. He was for sure serious on this one. This is a legit policy proposal. Um I said it was a joke. <laughs> like that's what I don't get these people I guess it's the tism that triggered a lot of these guys if you want to go to the comment section I get comments every day on this uh, people calling me desperate people saying that I'm trying to cling to rev relevancy and blah 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 454 comments as of right now um, a matter of fact the first one uh, right here uh, by moon Oh, an edgy YouTube creator made an edgy joke. Let's smear him in the most dishonest way possible. Yeah, that'll teach him. Uh, give an opinion saying somebody's disgusting is uh, not smearing. It's not smearing at all. I didn't smear him at all. I, I said that he, his joke was disgusting. You can see uh, we got an edge lord right here, a Lemmy head. It's always the people who like Lemmy. God rest Lemmy's soul, but his fan base is fucking edge lord cringe. Uh, what a fucking waste of time the stupid video was. Get a fucking life. Thank you for the comment. Let me reply to that one in good, good, uh, good real time. Thank you. Oh, bless your soft cotton socks. Couldn't handle the jandal. 8-bit dick. Yes. Your mom likes my 8-bit dick. So yeah, um, just a whole bunch of cringe. Uh, amazing atheist edge lords coming angry at me. Keep at it. I love it. 